So trying to program, you can see. Checking if I can program this use board that I have lying around. So this is for Discovery three, uh, Discovery four, 2013, and this is the setup that I've set it up to communicate with it. So now what I'll do, I have the pin out everything down the can high and can low, so I can take the ignition off and turn it on. So what I'll do, so this is the amount of current is joined. So what I'll do now is I'll set up my X10 Pro, then I'll, I'll use it to update it or try and program, uh, try a new programming file on it, not with the tablet. But after that also, I'll use the SSD also to try and see if I can communicate with it. So now, I'll auto vein it because with this vehicle, the vein is in the PCM. So I'll try and read the vein from the PCM so that I'll be able to identify the issue. So you can see Discovery 3 and 4. So let me go to Quick Access first. And because it's only the PCM that I've connected to, so anytime I try to start communicating with it, you see my can high, can high and can low will begin to flash. So I'll wait for the to read. So let me go into the ECU. So I'm doing a bench test for this ECU. So ECU info. So this is the info of the ECU, the V number, the calibration number and everything. So this is the V number. This is the calibration number in the VIN and everything, which means it's good. That means I'm able to communicate with the ECU. When I go to data stream also, so I'm bench testing the ECU. Let me select all, oh, okay. And you can see I'm having data and you can see the can lights are flashing because the scan tool and the ECU are communicating. So let me go back and move from here. So now that I know the ECU is able to communicate, let me go back and go to online service and online programming. And this one is discovery for 12 to 13 so i'll do programming mode then i'll select the pcm giving you warning that what you are doing is at your own risk and i move to So now what I'll do is let me set up a screen recording. Okay, so so that we start the screen recording. So it asks me to turn on the key two, and it's already on. The reason why I bought the Godak was because with the Godak you can turn off and on anytime you want so anytime i'll be required to turn it off i can do anytime i'll be required to turn it on i can do that so now what i'll do is um yes and it asks me to switch it off so at this moment i'll try and change my power supply and see if i'll get something around 12 volt because of the current the unit is joined. So now after changing my power supply, I'm getting somewhere around 12.3. And I have to wait for the VCI to, VCI to boot up. Then let me go to reconnect so that because I disconnected it. So the moment it reconnects, I'll click on OK. 
So it's still telling me to turn off my ignition. So I'll wait for it to require me to turn it on. So after doing all the checks, it will call me to turn my VCI on. Then I'll click on OK. So now, even though it is drawing 0.43, it's still around 12.5. And I think I have to get a power supply attached to my lap so that I can regulate the voltage because most of the boards require you to Most of the boss require you to okay. So let me click on it again. Click on okay to start downloading. So let me click on it to start the downloading. So now the file is successfully downloaded. I'll click on okay. Then it's now going to check the network and everything to see if they they are not connected so it's only the pcm uh, the pcm that is connected so let's see if we'll be able to pass this section all these units are not connected that's why it's not okay it's not okay it's only the pcm that have connected it So that means it's not connected to the vehicle. Press OK. And this is what they are telling me. So this is the current file and the latest file. So there is no update. I think the only update will be the PC. The only update will be the PCD. It will change from PCB to PCD. Mm, I think that's the only change that is to be done and boot everything so click on yes to start the bench programming so it's now checking everything so allow it to do its job so it starts downloading the file onto the pcm and you can see the can high and the can low are flashing so it's not downloading the file so this is why i wanted to add the think uh, the tinker to my tool of arsenal so with this one i'll let it do the downloading So it is almost done. The can lights also keep flashing. So I wait for the programming procedure to to be done. Then I'll check if the calibration fell. So that anytime I've, I'll be called to do any of this job, I know my machine can do it or something. So I'm just waiting for it to be done. And it is almost done. So it is almost done. And with this one, so whenever I'm called to program any Land Rover or Jaguar, I know I have a machine that can do some of them, not all. I don't totally rely on the machine, but at least it can do some basic works that I need it to do. Oh, why? We're connected. Bluetooth restarted. 
so the device we started that's why i'm having that issue so even with this one it can cause damage to the diagnosing device although the programming is done already it has to pass through some series of sections so i'll just wait for it to finish so now everything is done successfully so you can see the selected file that was downloaded and it gives the exact time so okay and let's wait for so it's asking me to turn off the ignition so i'll turn off the ignition and turn it back on again and click on ok so now this is the latest file on it and everything is done first it used to be pcb now it is pcd so you can see now everything is done and the programming is done successfully so it asked me to turn it off turn, turn the ignition back on and the ignition is back on okay fail to read DTC so let me go back and see if I'll be able to read the DTC yes and uh, it's only the issue that the machine is connected no response okay let me check so now after shutting it down for a while i'm able to i'm, I'm able to connect to it so i shut it down for a while and i connect back to it so what i'll also do is um yes what i also do is uh I'll communicate with it and go and check the calibration for from the other side. Yeah, so ECU information and let me see if it has changed. So you can see now the main calibration file has been changed. When you go back to the video, you see it be PCD, a PCB, but now it is PCD. That means the calibration number has changed and everything is okay. So I'm done with this. So now let me read the fourth code. And there will be a lot of fourth code in the system because there is nothing connected to it. There is nothing connected to it. So there will be a lot of fourth code. Yes. You see you enter then data stream mm, so everything is working now okay so back back and read fourth code let me see if it will be able to read the fourth code we don't come that to okay so I couldn't read the fourth code so I'll use the SSD to do it but for now I'm able to communicate with the EC thank you for watching subscribe to my channel for more videos so to verify that everything is right I'll use the obd to read the fourth code let me go to select let me wait for it to connect so it's a count protocol so it will be selected from the first one then you can see the vin number of the vehicle and the protocol it is so let me read the fourth code and all these fourth codes are because the connectors are not connected so this one i really don't care let me go to vehicle info and see if i'll find any calibration number in it 
so calibration id and this is the calibration number for the obd side so yeah this is the calibration i number itself identification and this is the, just the calibration ecu name let me see if i'll find anything engine control module and v number okay so i'm done i can't even go to live data and still be reading what i read first so you can see the massive flow the ambient is negative and everything equivalent is negative that means those things are not connected so 22 metrics not imperial so i'm done with this so let me connect the ssd and see the way it also works